Your Excellencies, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary General, Mr. Vice Chair, it's a true pleasure and a real honor to address a few words to this landmark uh, audience in such a pristine venue. And in my role as a modest Director General of the Geneva Chamber of Commerce, a member of the board, I'd like first to start by introducing the uh, Geneva delegation that has come to fiercely and proudly support our candidacy for the 13th edition of the World Chambers Congress in 2023. I'm delighted to be surrounded here by the President of the Geneva Chamber of Commerce, also heading one of the leading med tech and medical uh, institution in Switzerland, Gilles Rufnat. I'm also pleased to have with me our Vice President, Laurence uh, de la Serna, who uh, is also uh, heading a large and very innovative family business. Fred Ehren, uh, who is a senior vice president with SGS, the leading certification verification firm, 100,000 employees headquartered in Geneva, and a dear member of our board is with us today. So is the uh, Embassy of Switzerland uh, with uh, Minister Providoli endorsing the support uh, of our authorities uh, for this milestone uh, event. The Geneva Convention Bureau, represented by its director and chief of project, are here with us. They've been instrumental in presenting to you what we hope will be a very robust candidacy. Palexpo, which is the largest congress venue in Switzerland, is proudly here with us uh, today. So is MCI. MCI is the largest private Congress organization firms with 60 offices organizing roughly 7,000 congresses a year. So with us and with them, you're in the best possible hands. And with this, dear friends, if I may, dear fellows from uh, the chamber movement, I would like to start my presentation. I'd like to walk you through what are, in my humble heart, the 10 key reasons why Geneva is not only a timely, but a relevant and an appropriate place to hold that 13th Congress. As you know, it's the second time representing in front of you. We hope this time will be successful. We've learned from what we should have improved. We've implemented best practices for you today. Ten key reasons. First, branding. We've been discussing this extensively. You'll have the best of both worlds, if I may, very immodestly. You'll have the Swiss made, which is a token of reliability, and professionalism is at the heart of what we do. You will combine it with the Geneva factor, which is, there again, a signpost for openness to the world. And this is at the center stage of what we achieve collectively. Second, you'll have a consistent message. I'll come back to this. This is key. Geneva is home to multilateralism. We want to be aligned with what John and his team are being achieving and with the WCF. Stars are aligned. We're speaking one voice. We're speaking for non-protectionist world. We're speaking for free economy. But we're also speaking for sustainable and an innovative environment. Unrivaled support by the authority. We are a private chamber. I'm here coming uh, independently. But let's bear in mind that the day we have the Congress in Geneva, of course, all the authorities from the federal level, the continental, regional, and municipal level will be all aligned. We wanted he today here to be fully neutral and unbiased, but they'll be there on day one. Then, alignment with civil society. We've heard it this morning also from our Colombian friends. Fantastic presentation. We need to reconcile Wall Street and Main Street. That disconnect needs to be addressed. The new capitalism, whereby all stakeholders and constituencies are being engaged, is within the DNA of what we achieve. So civil society will be there. So will the academia. Geneva is a knowledge hub. We've just awarded two Nobel Prizes a month ago. And they will be there for you because we need to think forward. And this is something which we would love to offer. Dynamic and diverse ecosystem. Geneva, you'll see, is a vibrant marketplace. Lots of the companies you interact with are headquartered in Geneva. SGS is one of the 1,000 multinationals that operate in that region. Sustainable venue. This is no question mark. We need to be green. We need. And Geneva, by its central location, the fact that it's accessible, but also by all the steps that have been taken by all the participants to this, will really deliver uh, a proud but carbon uh, free, or at least mitigate all carbon footprint for that uh, Congress. We believe this is a key standard. 
And also, magnet to vibrant speaker, targeted audience. We've been discussing this. You want to attract the right people, not only within the room, we'll have all the business leaders, but on stage. You want the right people to make sure that they can advocate the fantastic job which ICC and WCF are delivering. You'll have this in Geneva because we do it every day. And because D Geneva is often branded Davos 365 days a week or, uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, and, and, of, and because we have the world on our doorstep. Constant cost monitoring. We're very conservative in the way we manage this. From day one, WCF will earn money. The projection that we have, and I think you have a very tight and detailed budget. You've all been provided with 100 plus bid books. We put in there all the figures and say that this is going to be a win-win scenario for all our institutions. And eventually, we need to be creative and agile. Being small, sometimes small, is beautiful and potentially powerful. This is also what we're going to be offering to you. So we believe that Geneva is a triple A candidacy. Attractive, accessible, and affordable. I would add another A to this, which is aligned. Geneva aligned. We are an international village that the entrance of the UN, you'll see with 100 international organizations, uh, 780 NGOs, 180 diplomatic missions. The world is there, the diplomatic community which we've been uh, debating. And under the theme, achieving shared prosperity through <coughs> multilateralism, you will also find this because we are dessert time on the little chocolates. No bribery here, there are only two of them. But the little chocolates that you'll find also with the tagline of what Geneva will offer in 2020. Multilateralism, a scarce asset which we need. This is also part of our genes. Part of our genes because not only are we the, uh, the, uh, an international city, but we're a capital of global economic governance. And it is by no chance that the ICC has just opened a footprint in Geneva. And guess where the, the office is located? Within the Geneva Chamber of Commerce, within the House of Economy. As I told you, we're all fully aligned. Key topics, multilateralism, as I mentioned, but also sustainable development. I think here, well, the Chamber has joined the Climate Coalition. The Chamber has just dedicated time and resources to climate for action. But we are a pioneer in Geneva about sustainability. So that will be at the center stage of what we will achieve together. Innovation. You saw the picture before? The picture you saw was the CERN. And in the CERN, that's where, and it's unknown, the World Wide Web was invented. This is also what Geneva can offer to you, a springboard in terms of innovation. And eventually, the competition, which is key. We all appreciate, we want our chambers to be first. I suggested humbly that within the triangle of sustainability, environment, social, and economic, we add a gender uh, equality project because I believe we need to achieve some terms of parity and there's still some margin of maneuver in that respect. Again, how will we achieve this? Because we have a very strong networks, internationally, nationally, regionally, and locally, including with Economy Suisse, which is our mother company, if you wish. It's 100,000 leading companies, 2 million jobs. They're fully supporting our candidacy. So you'll have the business community from Switzerland on board, and this is key, but also, as I mentioned, all other stakeholders from the private, from the public sector. This is key because we want to make it a success. This is going a bit too fast. Sorry about that. Not sure this is working. Uh, okay. Voila. That will allow, you to, uh, allow us to leverage uh, uh, state-of-the-art keynote speakers coming from all these. And I'll put a few names here. We've received already confirmations about speakers that would be Interested, of course, as I told you, the president, Minister of Economy, hopefully of the Swiss Confederation, the president of Geneva will sign a support letter, the mayor of Geneva, they will all be there. And remember, just very close by the World Economic Forum, interesting synergies in light of what John explained and what you've achieved in uh, Davos. We are proudly presenting here some of the first sponsors that have trusted us because at the end of the day, trust is also key. We're talking about trust economy. They're here for us, they're here. Uh, to provide some assistance, including because we want the Congress to be inclusive for LDCs countries. We want to reach out to those who don't have the means to come to Geneva. They will be support in that respect. State-of-the-art venue, blending tradition and innovation. It's fully booked for you. So are 1,000 beds in all range of hotels in Geneva expecting you with all the necessary level of comfort in that pristine uh, environment. And again, as I said, a vibrant marketplace because you want to reach out to the 1,000 multinational companies, to Geneva as a cradle of banking, as a hub in trade finance, and as a health tech uh, platform. 
sorry, this is not working really well, so I'll possibly move back to that direction. Um, we shall design for you a business program that will make sense. At the end of the day, we want to yield some tangible outcome for you all because this is what we are here for. And we've been working on a, a very ambitious program in that uh, respect. These are some of the settings where we should be welcoming you. I'm mindful of the time. Time is of the essence. Thank you, uh, Leah. And again, if you were to spend a bit more time, I know you're seasoned with Switzerland, but if you travel from other corners of the world, why not stay there for a few days and go up the Matterhorn, or as President Macron did yesterday, up the Mont Blanc, which is only about uh, 50 minutes away. There'll be plenty to do. And this is also very good uh, conditions conducing, conducive to business uh, for you. Accessibility. We are in the heart of Europe. There is no better central place, and it's well catered by uh, all airlines from the corners of the world. So we all look forward to have the ICC flag on the airport of Geneva. This is something we organize with you, as well as on the Mont Blanc Bridge, so that you can see the color of your institution uh, in uh, Geneva. Look how familiar it is. We're only three hours away here in Paris. We're catching our train, sustainable in just uh, two hours uh, from now. I have one minute left. This is how it looks. So you could walk from the Congress to the WTO to the UN. It's a walkable city. It's a human-sized city. We want to be human-centric. This is what we need. Spend too much time on our iPhones here. You can really enjoy some concrete contacts. Profitable Congress. From day one, 400,000 uh, uh, euros yield. Uh, and this is uh, uh, the budget which is conservative and willing to do more because it's cost and time uh, efficient. So again, I've summed up here uh, a few uh, reasons. You know them all, and I hope this will convince you. Founded in 1865, the CCIG is the voice of business with 2,500 member companies totaling 130,000 jobs. The Chamber is committed to improving the business and regulatory environment so that companies can operate successfully in the long term. Its mission is also to support its members by helping them create opportunities. The CCIG has been a member of the International Chamber of Commerce since 1947. At WCF level, it has represented Switzerland at its General Council since 2007. The CCIG has been a sponsor of three World Chambers Congresses. As one of the founders of the ATA Carnet System, the CCIG is a keen believer in the virtues of international trade as a means to achieve peaceful cooperation among nations. Hence its motto for the 2023 World Chambers Congress, achieving shared prosperity through multilateralism. As a first step, the CCIG has organized in 2019 the first Chambers Day showcasing over 25 binational and regional chambers of commerce, welcoming 400 participants. Geneva is an international business hub at the heart of Europe. It's also home to a United Nations office, 37 international organizations, including WTO. All these concur to make Geneva the capital city of global economic governance and the center of business diplomacy. And with this, this dear friends, dear Mr. Chairman, as you understand, and it comes from the heart, we very much hope to uh, welcome you in Geneva in 2023. Thank you for your time, thank you for your trust. Thank you, Vincent. Uh, thanks for sticking with the time. Uh, so now we'll leave uh, the floor to the members of the jury. So if anybody have any questions, please raise your hand. So we have the first one in the back. Go ahead. Let me start off with a question. Vincent, very passionate presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you started your presentation by saying that you learned from what you didn't do well enough at the first attempt, um, and that you have some good practices implemented. Can you give examples of that? Thank you very much indeed, Vuta. I think we've been working really on delivering a pitch that highlights the three A which I said. So we're working on affordability because there's a perception that Geneva is uh, a non-cheap, if I may, uh, a jurisdiction. So here we've really worked on this and we've obtained some package 
also from the authorities, from the Convention Bureau, to reduce the cost to the maximum. So we can uh, allow you the best possible rates. This is something we've been uh, working on. Accessibility, we'll make sure that with Geneva Airport, with all the transport, we can make uh, your uh, stay there as seamless and possible. And also, more importantly, if I may, we've worked on creating a consistent and a convergent ecosystem for that. We've been talking to all stakeholders, making sure that on D-Day, they will be there uh, for you discussing the issues. We evolved in a VUCA, volatile, uh, uncertain, complex, ambiguous en environment. We're looking at certain security and we're looking at predictability. So we've already approached some keynote speakers that will precisely address that types of issue. We are all aligned. It's a team, you've seen it, nine of us today, many more at home. So we've learned from this. It's a global uh, effort that we are leading here and we trust that this time will be the time of Geneva. Another question? Yeah, may I ask you? I have the experience from your previous candidacy a couple of weeks ago. I have, congratulations, excellent presentation, excellent content, not only the presentation, but I have one question. Uh, uh, Geneva is a famous city, international based city, and there are many, many events per year. Many congresses, many government conferences, uh, non government conferences, private conferences. Uh, uh, what will you do not to be, be, as a WCF and World Champions Congress, not to be noised in this plenty of events in, uh, in Geneva? I may turn to my colleagues from the Convention Bureau, but what I can tell you, Peter, is that we'll prevent all types of events from uh, happening at the same time. <laughs> because we want all eyes to be on the ICC. So by starting now, by starting now, if by mid-March you're telling us you have the green light, we all fully align and we make sure that what is going to be at stake is the ICC and the World Chambers Congress. For us, it's key. It's not because we're welcoming Congresses every day uh, that this is going to result in a lack of attention. No, we are starting communication from now. The press in Switzerland is ready to shoot with this good news once possibly it is confirmed. Would you like to say a word, Didier Alla, chairing the Geneva Convention Bureau? I think it's a very interesting question because uh, I think you said that before, Vincent, uh, we are a human city and this is part of our heart. So there's no uh, clown which is just in the middle of other. It's every individual, it's treated differently, it's treated against their own value, own expectations. And uh, we work, this is why we work upfront in order to secure uh, venues, to secure uh, locations, and also to secure the knowledge of, lo of local people. And uh, from state, to the city, to the key stakeholders, so they already know about that. And we, we do that for the World Chamber of uh, Congress, uh, Congress, but we do that for all the Congresses we are coming in town. I think it's very important. It's just a question for respect towards our clients. Thank you very much. Let's take more questions. So we have one in the back. But, but, but it's more for juries. Are you a jury member? No, no, we'll, we'll take it here. <laughs> we have a couple, I'm sorry ah, about that. Yeah. Thank you for your support. <laughs> Ju back. Jury or not? We <laughs> have thank more you. time. Go ahead. Uh, Vincent, uh, congratulations for the brilliant uh, presentation. One question, what is your major incentive behind applying for this bit? My main, I'm sorry, honey. Incentive. Why? 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 I'm going to give you a very plain answer, I hope. Uh, and because I believe in what we do. Because I believe in chambers. Because I believe in the necessity to have us all as trusted partner advocating the voice of the business community and because I believe very humbly, but you're going to make me blush by your comments, that Geneva, which is a usual suspect of course, but is a truly relevant, appropriate and timely nowadays springboard for this. So my incentive, there is no personal agenda, it is just to make sure that in these times where we need chambers more than ever, you have the right location to state it because you're in a neutral unbiased place because you're in a safe place and because you're in the place where this is happening now look at the epidemia that we are facing in china where are the decisions being taken at the who in geneva this is the center stage we need you there we need the icc to be uh, even more vocal than it is already thanks to uh, crispin and, and and john in geneva 
uh, within that, uh, uh, as I call it, the smallest of the large cities. Sultani? Yeah. Thank you very much, Manson, for the excellent presentation, which was more interesting with the passion you had put behind the, the words and sentences. Uh, I have just a couple of questions. The first one is, what is your plan for the LDCs and how you want to make the event more inclusive by having them? And the second is about the visa. Have you made any arrangements in, in order to uh, offer visas to the people so that you make sure that everybody from the, the various countries can uh, make it to uh, Geneva or not? And the, the third one is, uh, have you chosen a theme for the Congress? Uh, or uh, I would say a, a center issue around which you are going to uh, put the uh, several okay, issues. That, that's a clear, just because yeah. of the time. So sure, I'm, 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 I'm going to be brief, but I don't want to deprive the delegation from uh, really stepping in. Huh? It's, a, it's a team uh, effort and spirit here. Thank you, uh, Pedam. LDCs, key. We want it to be inclusive. I want the least developed countries. We have 180 diplomatic missions, more than in New York. So all countries are represented in Geneva. So with the help of the diplomatic missions, we'll make sure that the LDCs can come. What we will do very concretely for each and every 47 LDCs country, will pay for them to join us. Plus, we'll offer discounted, uh, as uh, you are doing in Dubai. You, you set the bar so high with Dubai. We, it's, hard, it's hard to compete with Ahmad, but I could see this morning uh, what you did for LDC's country. So, of course, there's an early bay. There are some accommodation facilities. So everything is part of a setting pedram that we, uh, we shall take care of, and we mean it genuinely, visa. Visa are not an issue. I'd like to stress this here. The way we operate in terms of Congress, we work with all our diplomatic missions. The embassy is represented here by Mrs. Minister. We work on, they are notified up front that the, the procedure should be taken care of in a very streamlined way. We welcome the world, as I said, daily. We have 4,000 ministers and heads of state visiting Geneva every year. The customs will not, you, uh, will not let you wait for five hours there. First, because they don't, it's not the way they operate, they're efficient. Second, because they know that they, you will come for a Congress and it's in the best interest of Geneva and of the uh, international community to have you. And the theme, let me give you that uh, chocolate here. There are many more there. <laughs> it states, achieving shared prosperity through multilateralism. This is in the DNA of Geneva. This is in the heart of what's gonna be the theme. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we'll take one last question. And for one the rest, there are many questions. more chocolates here. Okay, and we'll take it uh, from here. We'll have more questions for the next groups, maybe. Uh, thank you. I joined the others to say, well done, Vincent. Mine is a very simple question. I can see you speak to very strong private sector support. So my question is, if you did win the bid, would your head of state be present? And you have one minute. The, the, the plain answer is yes, subject to, of course, circumstances. You know the way we operate in Switzerland? We have seven ministers, seven ministers, one of them on a rotating basis being president of the Confederation. Why do we do this? Because we believe that power should not be individualized. We're in a very, uh, very if you wish, um, neutral environment. But for the Congress of that type, not only would the head of state, the president, be present, but I guess, and we'll be working on this, they'll be notified the day we could be awarded the, the Congress, we are Minister of Economy, you were in Davos. The seven ministers were all in Davos. Business is critical to Switzerland, and what the chambers represent is key to them, so I can commit that it'll be there. So will the President of Geneva and the Mayor of our city, of course. I don't know if, members, Gilles, would you like to, to add something to, to this? Fred. Yeah. No, I think it's very important also from a multilateral point of view. I think we all have a very important role to play in the current discussion and in the future discussion around WTO issues, etc. We need to make sure that the chambers remain always relevant. And we have a fantastic leverage in that respect. And this is, if you look at the timing, WTO is under reconstruction. We just need to make sure at the national level and at the international level that we can contribute <laughs> and remain relevant. So for me, this is a no-brainer. This is really an important time. Thank you very much, thank Vincent. You, and uh, thank you for Geneva delegation. Uh, we wish you all the best.
Thank you. Thank you. We hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you, Yasin. Thank you so much. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. All the best. <laughs>